Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. As you can see, I am just woken up. I have a wedding today and I'm going to do a get ready with me, so come along with me. Today I want to do my nails, makeup, and my hair, so we're going to start on that. In my self-care shopping video, you guys saw that I got this mousse from Miel. I have the gel, but I hadn't used the mousse, and I totally love it. Also, if you haven't seen that video, definitely go watch it. I did a quick top change. I actually got tomato sauce on my last top because we have a crock pot soup going at the moment. But we're going to start on the nails. This is the Beatles nail kit. Highly recommend. It's like poly gel, but it's so easy to use. Bentley wanted to be included. He kept scratching on my leg to come up here, so did you get what you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> this is the setup. I have all of the products that I'm gonna use over here. The dish to dip in my slipping solution. This is my curing lamp, and then these are my tips and my nail clippers and my files. This is the inspo for today is like a maroon marble effect. So we're gonna try these three and see how it goes. All right, the prep for my nails is all done. I'm gonna go in with shade 162 as my base. So we'll do the base coat of the gel polish, and then we'll do the actual poly gel, and then we'll do the top coat. And I'm gonna speed through this because I really have to focus on this part, so y'all are gonna enjoy some royalty-free music. Also, the little tips, oh, that's really hard to see. The tips have hearts at the end of them. I think it's so cute. It's not shaped or filed yet, and I still have the design to do. I'm gonna do the other hand off camera. Second hand is done. The thumb is kind of looking rough, but we're gonna fix that. I think this took me like 40 minutes so far, so we're doing pretty good. We're going to shape and file now and see if we can make like a marble effect with these three colors and try to make it look fall autumn kind of vibes christmas cookies to get in the holiday spirit for seeing myself switching from physical books to what do you think about it is it worth it do you like it do you these are the shaped and filed nails i think they look so good it's time to try out the design Okay, <laughs> hashtag fail, <laughs> let's try this again.
brush. These are the nails. I am so obsessed. They were actually pretty easy once I got the hang of it, but I love them. I had to change up the color because the other one, the undertone was very purple. This one's more pink and actually red, like what I was looking for. And I was trying to go for a maroon, but this is the best we're gonna get. I'm going to make a shorts video of my fingernails. I think they're so cute. I'm obsessed with this hand. For some reason, this hand looks very marbly, very like clean and smooth. And then this one is just like, this is my dominant hand though. So that's probably why this hand didn't turn out as well, but they're still really cute. So let's make a YouTube short. My crockpot soup is done and I'm gonna go eat us some lunch and then I'm gonna come back and touch up my hair a little bit and do some makeup. Okay, we are back from lunch. It is 2.11. The plan is to be out of the door by at least three o'clock. So I'm gonna kind of zoom through this. I'm debating to use a blur screen primer. I don't know if we're gonna be out in the sun a lot, but I think I'm just gonna do BB cream. I need my little mirror. It actually turns on, which I think is pretty cool, but it's just not like bright enough to actually like light my face, unfortunately. Oh, before we do that, I need to get the hair out of my face. I have been binge watching all of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders vlogs. I think it's so neat and cool. Are you supposed to use a beauty blender for these? I think I've always just used my hand. But yeah, I would so be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader if I had the time and if I lived closer to Dallas, I think it would be so fun. And they seem like they have a really good friendship with each other and it would be just a nice place to meet your future bridesmaids. I just love how the BB cream looks so natural and it's actually healthy for your skin and it has sunscreen in it. So I guess I really didn't need the uh, blur screen. This is the powder that I've been using. It is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. Um, it's pretty sheer, but it doesn't like look too cakey. And that's actually another reason why, again, I love it because it looks natural and it is like a skincare type powder. This blush I literally got from Pop Shelf for I think it was like $3, but it is so pretty and it actually has like some gold shimmers in there. So when you put it on, it just makes your whole cheek looks like it's shimmering. At this point, like Pop Shelf should just collab with me because I literally am obsessed with them and I literally get like all of my stuff from there. Wow, this is going to be a very quick makeup. Very quick. It's been six minutes and... We're pretty much almost done. Highlighter is the Benefit Cookie. A lot of people have this one. You can't go wrong with it. I mean, it just looks so pretty. The blush on camera looks like, but it's really not that crazy in real life. Now the Blush Baby ColourPop palette. I'm going in with the Date Night color. It's just such a solid eyeshadow. Like you could literally wear it anywhere. It has a little bit of sparkle. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pretty. Y'all know I like sparkle. The Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I literally only put my mascara on the outside of my eyes because I think it looks prettier and it gives more of like a cat eye effect. It kind of looks like the Victoria's Secret Angels and that's always my goal. Speaking of, I watched their show, um, loved it. I do wish that they did the curly girl's hair a little bit better. It's like they just gave them all afros. I actually do like that they brought back some of the old wings. I am not very good at, at lighting my lips. That looks so dark. Oh my gosh. Why do I look like Shigo? <laughs> I originally wanted like a brown when I was getting this. Ugh. The camera looks way different. On camera it looks very pink. In real life it's very nude. But I was originally wanting like a brown, but I actually really like this shade. I'm just filling in the corners and leaving the inside blank because I feel like that's pretty and it adds kind of like some contour and dimension. I feel like this looks like a lot and I've barely put anything on, but if you guys watched my 
Target self-care and hygiene shopping video, I pointed this shade out. This is the opal shade. It actually has some shimmer in it. It's really pretty. It's good for a nude lip. And also if you just want to look natural and just wear it alone, it's also really pretty. I feel like that was really quick. That literally took me 11 minutes. Ow, I just ripped my earring. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's not even a lot, but it's enough to just brighten and add some color. We have 30 minutes until we need to be leaving and let me show you guys what dress I have picked out for the wedding. This cutesy little one, it's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of giving scarecrow. This is she. I think she's cute, but I don't know what shoes to wear with her. The last wedding I went to, I wore these. <laughs> I wore these and I feel like they kind of go with it, but I also have these. These little booties that would be really cute with it and they're more comfortable. The only thing is like, I don't want it getting too hot and sweating in these. This is the finished look. I love the bow. I think it's so cute with the dress. Let me give you a head to toe look. This is the finished look. I love the shoes with this dress. I am wearing shorts because this dress is kind of like really short on me because I'm tall, but I love the bow. The bow is so cute. Let's go to the wedding. I did not have time to end out the video last time, so thank you guys for watching. Comment this emoji down below if you made it to the end of the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.